These connectors look small, but choosing the wrong one can leave your structure vulnerable to lightning strikes. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we're going to talk about the connectors used in lightning protection systems. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand the different types of connectors and their applications. But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing earthing and lightning protection systems for the last 30 years. You'll find our connectors installed in utility scale applications, in transformers, transmission and distribution lines, and many more places. First, let's start by understanding the basics. A connector in a lightning protection system is a component that joins different parts of the system, such as conductors, air terminals, and ground electrodes. Together, they safely dissipate harmful electrical charges into the ground. These connectors are made from materials like copper, aluminium, brass, and stainless steel, depending on their application. Let's understand the different types of connectors, starting with bimetallic connector. These connectors join aluminium and copper conductors. Connecting the aluminium and copper without a bimetallic connector leads to galvanic corrosion. These products are made using friction welding, where heat from friction joins the copper and aluminium together. Note that different types of connectors are used for tapes and conductors in lightning protection. This one is used for tapes. Now, split board connectors, also known as T connectors or splicing connectors. These connectors join two or more grounding wires, creating a circuit that dissipates harmful currents into the ground. They're designed to replace traditional splicing of twisted wires, offering a safer and more durable solution. Splitboard connectors are used for reliable connections and applications ranging from grounding installations to distribution lines. Next, let's look at servit post connectors. Can you see this threaded part which is sticking out? It connects other components like bus bars as needed. Without this threaded part of the connector, it would have been just like a splitboard connector. Servit post connectors are designed to make copper to copper connections such as connecting the conductor to the bus bar in a transformer. Other applications include grounding steel structures and fence posts. We offer various types of servit post connectors, including copper, tin plated, brass, and more. Next, let's look at edge tap connectors. This connector creates tap or parallel connections in distribution lines. Can you see these two distinct grooves? The larger groove is for the main line, while the smaller one is for the tap line. This can be equal depending upon the conductor's size. These grooves, along with the fold over tabs, gives the edge tap its unique compression capabilities. These connectors excel at two-way splicing. They are used in primary and secondary tapping of main line in a distribution network. Axis edge tap connectors have markings to show the wire size and the number of crimps with the recommended tool, making your installation process easier. Next, let's look at C connectors. Made from ETP grade copper, these connectors come with a natural or electro tin finish. One key feature of C connectors is their ability to handle multiple wire combinations with a single C tap, which helps reduce inventory needs. You can use them for direct burial in earth or concrete, making them a versatile option. You cannot separate C connectors once they are installed. They are permanent, and you can make tap connections using these connectors. Now, let's look at E connectors. They're similar to C connectors, but are used when two conductors of different sizes are required, such as 240mm square and 120mm square. Before moving ahead with even more types of connectors, make sure you are informed about the latest installation techniques, different application, and various updates on the electrical industry. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter. You will find the link in the comments. Now, let's look at figure eight connectors. Made from ETP grade copper as well, these connectors handle multiple wire combinations and are suitable for direct burial in the earth or concrete. They're primarily used for joining conductor to conductor and rod to conductor. However, the conductor must be open-ended. You cannot make tap connections with these connectors since both sides are closed-ended. Now let's discuss G connectors. These connectors are also used for joining conductor to conductor and rod to conductor. But unlike figure eight connectors, you can make tap connections with them since one end is open. They are needed when there is a significant difference in conductor sizes, such as 240mm square and 16mm square. I hope you now have a clear understanding of the different types of connectors used in earthing and lightning protection. 
At Axis, our team of over 50 engineers is ready to support your project needs for clamps, connectors and hundreds of other electrical hardware. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about electrical engineering topics.